Alright guys, Revolve Rossler here and this is going to be my Dewey Dibbery Battleground 2015 predictions. Now I thought I'd get this out now because tomorrow I'll be a little bit tired and wrapped up in other things. So it's like 1 o'clock in the morning on Friday night and I'm just a little bit tired. So I thought I'd get out now. Uh, this video will not be cut short though, it'll be about 10, maybe 20 minutes. So let's just get into it. Um, Battleground to me looks pretty iffy. I think the main event looks great and I think that... The US title match will be great, but overall I don't think the rest of the show will deliver. But let me just give you my predictions on the matches, which I have right here. Okay, so the pre-show match will be R-Truth taking on King Barrett uh, in a singles match for Barrett's King of the Ring crown. If R-Truth wins, I will literally cry because Bad News Barrett is so good and it's just a shame that he's being wasted like this. Um, in fact, one of the divas on... Um, uh, tough enough, Sierra Lee said that she really likes Bad News Barrett. I really like Sierra Lee. I think she's my pick to win the female side of Tough Enough. And I really like Barrett and I love that. Seriously, that's, that's great. Uh, Barrett should win, surely, because this tr this first this rivalry needs to win with Barrett looking strong against our truth And here, he will really look strong if he beats him. Even though we've had like four or five matches over the past few weeks on Raw with these two, and it's just a little bit boring, it's happening again. Thank God it's just on the pre-show though. I hope Bad News Barrett wins. If he doesn't, I'll cry. Bad News Barrett is my prediction. Next match, Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, I think it could go either way, but it depends on how they're booking SummerSlam. Off, my, off what I think will happen in the main event, I'm going to say Roman Reigns is going to win because I think Roman Reigns will beat Bray Wyatt in a few in the end will be pretty pointless because it lasts one pay-per-view and it's Battleground which is a pay-per-view that has really never been good. I mean, there's two pay-per-views for Battleground and none of them have been very good. So, Reigns will beat Wyatt and then we'll go on to SummerSlam where I think he might face Lesnar for the title. I think they're going to be pushing Reigns for the belt before TLC. So, I think he'll win it by maybe Night of Champions. Uh, so, that's how I think, basically, Reigns. I don't like the rivalry because it started out being about uh, Bray not being in the money in the bank and then about... Roman's child, and then there was this um, anyone but you thing, which is slightly cool, but I just don't really get it, and it slightly takes away from what the guys are doing. Uh, it will be a decent match, though. The guys are very hard hitting, so it will be entertaining. I just don't think the rivalry is that spectacular, and I'm happy it's ending, to be honest. I would like to see Bray get the win, but my prediction is Roman Reigns. Uh, okay, so we'll leave the main event till the end. Uh, the primetime players, Darren Young and Titus O'Neil, take on the New Day, which will be, again, Big E and Kofi Kingston for the tag titles. I see the primetime players retaining. I don't really care about this match. It really just doesn't interest me. I think that's the thing with Battleground. There isn't enough interesting matches. Uh, and this is just another one. It's going to be filler. It might be worse than the one at Money in the Bank, which wasn't very good. Uh, I think the primetime players will retain, and that's really all I can say. Uh, okay, Randy Orton versus Sheamus, uh, I honestly couldn't care, again, I don't care about three or four of these matches. Uh, I think Sheamus should win because he's Money in the Bank winner, but the thing is, uh, the Money in the Bank winner is normally known to like lose a lot, so Orton could win, but I do think Sheamus will still win to help keep him strong, or they'll do some rubbish, whether it's a double count out or something like that, which I'm not going to like. Please don't do it. Have a clear victory. Give Sheamus Orton the clear victory. But my prediction will be Randy Orton. I mean Sheamus, sorry. The United States title match. Uh, John Cena versus Kevin Owens. I've seen a lot of people say Kevin Owens has to win. I don't think he has to win. I think he's established already that he's a main event guy. With his matches with Cena. And his matches with Cesaro and Rusev. Like the one we saw on Raw this last week, which was fantastic. And then Cesar and Rusev had another great one on SmackDown. But I, I seriously do think he still needs the win, though. Like, well, no, he doesn't need the win, but I think he's going to win. I think Kevin Owens will win because he lost the NXT title. He's getting a rematch, which with the, with the US title, that's going to boost him and maybe make him the favourite. Balor will then retain. Uh, so I think Kevin Owens is going to retain, uh, win the belt, sorry. And I'm going to be awesome, like, it's going to be great. It's going to be really awesome when Kevin Owens wins the belt. Because, you know, it's cool to see an NXT guy win a belt. Because we haven't had that many. You know, we've had Rollins and Reigns and Ambrose, obviously. But that's really it. I mean, Big E, uh, you know, Woods, 
didn't ever really compete when he was winning the tag titles. So it's nice to see a guy from NXT, and especially when it's Kevin Steen. So I do think Kevin Steen will be, well, Kevin Owens, will be winning the United States title in a match that should be a barn burner. It should be awesome. Okay, and now we move on to the main event. Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE World Heavyweight title. This is the hardest one to predict, I think, because there is so much it could go either way, with J&J not being there, with Kane not being there, but he could possibly be there to get revenge on Rollins or on Lesnar. So it works that way, that's pretty cool. I've heard Triple H might be screwing Rollins in the end, Triple H could screw Lesnar. So it worked. there's a lot that could happen, but in the end, I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar winning the title. I think Rollins' reign has been entertaining, but... Un, you know, it just hasn't been as satisfactory to Rollins as it could have been. He had one clean win, which he got on his own against Ambrose at Money in the Bank, but that was it. The others were all contested victories, like the DQ and the Fatal 4-Way was, in, you know, Kane was involved and J&J were involved. And obviously Extreme Rolls, he hit the RKO and stuff, and there's all that controversy. But Rollins' reign does need to end here, I think. Even though it's been a decent reign, it needs to end, and I think Brock Lesnar is the right guy to do it. Because Lesnar, I see, holding the belt, going to SummerSlam, facing possibly Reigns and Rollins in a triple threat, or just Reigns. Or I possibly see Seth Rollins going against Triple H in a one-on-one -on -one match, which would be awesome. And Rollins turning babyface, which we'll see how that works. But I do think Rollins is the best heel at the moment, so would that be the greatest move to turn him face? But I do see Brock Lesnar winning. Do I see it being a, a absolute destruction? No, not really. I think Rollins is going to put up a pretty good fight, but in the end, he will be beaten by the beast Brock Lesnar, and we will have a new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And that is the predictions. There's only six matches scheduled. There's no Divas match, no Rusev, no Ziggler, no Dean Ambrose, no Stardust. I've heard that possibly Neville Stardust could go on. Uh, I would probably say Stardust. Because they're building more to go against Stephen Amell uh, at SummerSlam. Uh, if they do do that, that will be my prediction. Stardust. If they do, obviously Ziggler's injured. Well, he's actually filming a movie. Rusev and Cesaro again. I, I've heard that's in the works. I would love that at Battleground. I think Cesaro will probably win because I think they're giving him a big push. And I like Cesaro, so that's awesome. Uh, and finally, the Divas. Uh, there's no Divas match, and you did that incredible segment on Raw, which is the best Raw segment this year, and there's no Divas. We wanted, what we wanted was we wanted, uh, we wanted a three-teamed Divas match. So we wanted Team Bad, which is, uh, what, Naomi, Sasha Banks, and Tamina. We wanted Team Bella, Alicia Fox, and the Bella Twins. Again, and then uh, Paige, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch. We wanted that, and you haven't given us that. So, I assume there'll be some showcase of those Divas, but I don't know if it'll be a match, it might just be a little brawl. Hey, I, I'm just happy that we might see Becky Lynch, Charlotte and Sasha Banks on a pay-per-view. And that's all I can really comment about Battleground. Apparently Undertaker might return? What do you think the chances are of that happening? Uh, I don't really know. I mean, Taker doesn't return unless it's Mania, so maybe not. Um, but that's basically my thoughts on Battleground. I do just want to say a few things. Uh, I watched Tough Enough. I'm actually watching Tough Enough. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. My picks so far are uh, Sarah Lee. I think she's she's great and she shows a lot of passion, even though she isn't the greatest worker or you know she her promo skills weren't great. She did that she did that one promo against Paige, which was awesome. Uh, I also like Patrick because again he has the passion and the knowledge, and I like Marta. I think he's the best at his character. Uh, and then another one for the women, I'd probably say Chelsea. She seems the best athlete. She seems the best technical for the women. So they're my four picks for Tough Enough. Uh, I'll do like I might do a review at the end. Uh, say what I think uh, on the, who the winners were. I hope it's Sarah Lee and Patrick. That's what I want. I want to see Sarah Lee in the main roster against like Paige or something like that. But um, also, what else do I have to say? Uh, the video game pickups episode, where which will be called the June Big Pickups Edition will be coming out soon. Uh, I've got to get Battleground through first and then I'll put out uh, eventually. Where I've played a few games uh, like Batman, Arkham Knight, you hear my opinion on that. Uh, Payday 2. And I bought um, 
Final Fantasy Type-0 HD on PS4, and there's a special pre-order, which I'm not going to spoil for you, but you can probably work it out if you know me. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Revolver Ross a lot with my WWE Battleground 2015 predictions.